guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we have a pile of animal figurines right here. We have the whales and the dolphins. And right here we have the Australian animals, some insects, some amphibians, and some other cool stuff. Okay, so we will be packing them into two different boxes right here. Are you guys ready? Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so let's begin. The first figure right here is actually the Amazon River Dolphin, which is also known as a Bolo right here. Okay, or Boto. I beg your pardon. Boto. So yep, the Amazon River Dolphin, also known as a Pink Dolphin. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this, which is an insect. We have a huge honeybee. And you can see the wings are actually translucent. Let's have a look at another figure from our left side, which is a bullfrog. So bullfrogs are actually very, very big frogs, and they are known to eat everything that is given to them. We have two figures right here. Okay, next, let's have a look at this. This is also a relatively new figure, mink whale. Beautiful one. And this one is actually a pygmy sperm whale. Okay, pygmy sperm whales are actually very small size whales. They're not as big as the right whale or the sperm whale. They are basically the size of about a dolphin. Next, we have a tarantula spider right here. Okay, they are actually pretty harmless. They look kind of scary, but they are actually quite gentle. Next, we have a what is this? I think this is a black widow, if I'm not wrong. I'm trying to find its name. Um, I can't seem to find a name. But I think this is a black widow. I think so. Okay, or is it a red widow? Black widow spider. Yeah, that's right. Black widow. Here we have another tarantula. Mexican red me tarantula to be exact. And here we have an orca, also known as a killer whale. And it's very well known for this really tall dorsal fin. And this is a nair whale, a small little figure. We should have a couple of more later on. This one actually looks like a nair whale, but it's actually a Ganges River dolphin. And here we have the right whale. It's a huge one. And here for a small little frog, let's have a look at the name. Coral Bori frog right here from Science and Nature. Very beautiful frog. We have another one right here. And this is known as the Darwin's frog. The name is written right here. Darwin's frog from Collecte. It has a very sharp nose. Yeah. Insect, ladybird. Okay, right here, ladybird. Beautiful ladybirds. And here we have a scorpion. Two huge pencils right here. And a claw right over here. Scorpion. Beautiful figure. This is the Blaine Views Big Wheel. Okay. And this one seems to be a Pacific White Sided Dolphin. This is a beluga calf, young beluga, dragonfly, a kangaroo, okay, and this is a, I think this is a red kangaroo if I'm not wrong, can't seem to find this name, oh it's right here, at the feet, right over here, red kangaroo, here's another one, Tasmanian Devil, an animal they can find in Australia, an insect, I think this is a bumblebee, beautiful one, yep, bumblebee, a butterfly, let's see its name, small tortoise shell butterfly. Here have another spider. What type of spider is this? Could be a tarantula. Not exactly very sure. 
beautiful figure. Oh, this shouldn't be here. Accidentally place it right here. It should be in the birds collection. Blue Will from Collecte. Now Will. This is an overgrown tooth. Now Will. Now Will. Now Will. Not Now Will. Now Will. Beluga. Another mink will, I think. We have two of them. And another beluga. This is quite a new figure from Collecti. Very beautiful. So, do you guys know that this part right here is actually soft and puffy? And they can actually use echolocation to help them find their way in the water. This is a bow head will. Okay. Gorgeous. Another one. Same species, but different figure. This it's a grey wheel. And you can see it has a lot of circular objects on its body and they're known as barnacles. They are basically like I wouldn't say parasites, but they are just living organisms that is living on the body of a, uh, you know, of the, you know, the, the whale, whale shark, the new figure. Yeah, but it's quite an old one, but we just got it recently, okay? 1991 figure, whale shark, they are future feeders. They are actually sharks, which means we should actually put it in the sharks collection, to be honest. Okay, it looks like a porcupine, but it's actually known as an echidna. Okay, can be found in Australia as well. And you can see it has a very long nose. Another Nair Whale, Nair Whale, 1997 figure. Huge spider right here. So if we look, another tarantula. We have plenty of tarantula spiders in our collection. A garden snail. Our one and only snail figure. Beautiful. Another spider. Let's have a look at uh, the name. Sydney Funnel Web Spider. So it's another spider that you can find in Australia. Australia is well known for you know different species of spiders. And what is this? Rhinoceros beetle. You can see it has a horn, and uh, it basically gets its name from the horns that it has, cause it makes it looks like a rhinoceros. Butterfly. Monarch butterfly from Safari Ltd. Kangaroo. A huge ant. This is probably the biggest ant that you can see. A cockroach, not too sure that it's still working. Oh, it's still working. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Yeah, this is actually from um, Zuru. Oops, there's a figure on the floor. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, this is a pilot wheel. So pilot whales are known to swim in groups. And the groups are actually known in pods, are actually known as pods. And there will always be one leader in front of the pod. Okay? So that is called a pilot. So which is why they're known as pilot whales. They always swim in groups with a leader in front. Alright? Our car, this is a very cute and adorable one. The shape doesn't look right to me. Our car car. Okay. Perhaps it's a calf, it's a very young one, so we can perhaps, you know, forgive it. Right wheel, another one. So do you guys know why it's known as right wheel? So it's known as right wheel for a very ironic, yeah, it's a very ironic reason. Because 
you know, the poachers. Yes, I, I use the word poachers. They will kill the whales, and these whales are known to float to the surface of the ocean water when they die. So it's so they call it the right way because it's very easy to retrieve their bodies when they are dead. So they name it the right way, which is kind of ironic if you ask me, right? Okay, next, another beluga. Okay, this is from PNSO. Orca from Schleich, a very beautiful one. So orcas are very, very intelligent hunters. They actually hunt in groups and they can take down seals, they can take down leopard seals, they can take down penguins, they can take down whales and they attack together. They will plan it properly. They actually break the ice to actually attack seals. Extremely smart. And this is a sperm whale. You can easily recognize it. It is the only whale with a very rectangular shaped body. So you can see this part right here. It looks like a rectangle. Yeah, it's it's basically the sperm whale. But Quito Purpoise, the last time I checked, there are only less than 10 left in the world. So I'm not too sure how many of them are left. You know, perhaps it could be extinct. I'm not too sure. Real shock right here. This figure has been with me for a very, very long time. Yeah, 2011 figure, but we got it in 2014 when we first started Dance Surprise. Yeah, so it's a very, very old figure. Bottlenose Dolphin, okay, 1991 figure, very old figure as well. Another calf, okay, another beluga, not a calf, I beg your pardon. This is a pygmy sperm whale, oh sorry, pilot whale. Looks kind of different. Okay, let's see what else we've got. A centipede, yep. Centipede right here. A warm bat. Okay, warm bat. Platypus right here. It's a huge dark bill. And this is a frog. And it's known as a red eye tree frog. Yep, the eyes are huge. Koala. They're not bears, they're marsupials. Another spider. I think a lot of you guys are actually afraid of spiders, right? Huntsman spider. Can be found in Australia as well. This is also um, a science and nature product. So science and nature are basically toys from Australia. So this is a kangaroo. They only create toys from Australia. I mean, animals from Australia. And this, it's a black widow. So it has this red mark beneath his body, which is kind of a unique, I feel. This, it's a stick insect. Okay, check this out. Lot's Howl Island. Lot Howl. Lot Howl's Island Stick Insect. Very cool. And here's a mini rhinoceros beetle. Let's see. Yeah, we have two of them if I'm not wrong. Ladybird from Collecting. Koala and a baby from Schleich. This one looks so adorable. Mini Orca. Let's get the big one in first. Say will. Harm back will. Just got a small one. Because we do have bigger ones, that's for sure. Atlantic white cider dolphin. The only dolphin with a very unique stripe of yellow across the body. Bottlenose dolphin. Another one.
the sea, Pacific, Pacific white side of the dolphin. Beautiful figure. Bottle nose. It just says dolphin below. Okay, this is from Schleich, a dolphin. What is this? Let's have a look. Bandicoot, right here from Science and Nature. This is an Australian wild dog, a dingo. Okay, this is not, you know, it's not one that I'll put, you know, together with my dog's collection. Very cute little wombat, I think. Yep, wombat. Name is written right below. This it's a booby. Very cute little booby. I still keep this little tag right here because it has some facts related to bandicoots. The booby was once widely distributed across Australia. However, habitat loss and predation by foxes and feral cats has reduced its distribution. Okay, conservation programs are helping to restore this animal to its original range. Nice booby. Kangaroo and a joey in his pouch. So baby kangaroos are known as joeys. Here's another one. Cute little one. And here we have a grasshopper. Okay. This is an insect that I really, really hate. The mosquito. Yep. I hate mosquito. And here's another dingo, Australian wild dog, praying mantis. They are absolutely gorgeous looking, and I feel they are like the masters of fighting. I've seen, you know, praying mantis fighting against a lot of our other insects. They are very deadly, and they are fearless, absolutely fearless. Rock wallaby. Yellow footed wallaby. We have a beetle right here. Let's have a look at what its name. Stack beetle. Beautiful one. A mini wheel. This is a Tasmanian devil, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's see whether there are any facts about this. Tasmanian devils are currently the largest living carnivorous marsupials in the world. Devils once lived on the mainland of Australia, but have now been confined to Tasmania since pre-European settlement. The future survivor of Tasmanian devils is now seriously threatened by devil facial tumor disease. Okay, hopefully they can um um, survive from this disease. Got a couple of um, mini figures right here. Okay, so sperm whale, bowhead whale. This is a mini dolphin, bottlenose dolphin calf. Beluga. This is the um, bowhead whale. Right whale. This is probably the blue wheel. Humpback wheel. A bottlenose dolphin, I suppose. This is a. Let's have a look. Lead beetles possum. Okay, and a mini platypus. A scorpion. A frog, beautiful frog. This is a sperm whale. Another scorpion. It's from Science and Nature. Beautiful figure. Whale shark. Come back. Could be a Pacific white cider dolphin. Whale shark. Now, yeah, well. Dolphin, a luger, a cordis 
Atlantic White Sided Dolphin, Bottlenose. This is perhaps, can't really tell. It could be a pygmy sperm whale. This is a pilot whale. Harmback and a beluga. So, yep, I've shown you guys two huge boxes of um my collection right here. Australian animals together with some insects, some spiders, some amphibians like frogs. And this is basically a box of whales and dolphins. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.